How you doing guys? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a business plan and you know, I'm going to let you know everything that you need to put inside of it, all right? So let's go. First thing first, you want to go ahead and ask yourself, what is a business plan, all right? And why do I need one? All right? So let's go into a couple things here. The first reason that you may need a business plan is just to help organize your thoughts, all right? Just to map out what you need to do step by step, all right? moving right along the next thing you uh, want to consider um, having a business plan is if you need help getting funding if you need investors all right and you can use this to get formal investors or you can also use this for different online campaigns like Kickstarter or GoFundMe or you know whichever uh, um, campaign sites that they have out there next it will give your business credibility all right so People will definitely take you serious um, if you have a plan of action, all right? And the next thing, it will help you to sign artists, book tours, and get fans, all right? So, let's just go through a couple of different things on what to put inside of your business plan, all right? Now, I'm going to touch on all of these topics in depth, so let me just list them out for you. First off, you're going to have your confidentiality statement, all right? Next, an executive summary. Then the next thing you're going to have is your record label objectives, your products and services, the market analysis, your marketing plan, management and organization, and your financial plan, all right? So in the next couple slides, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get more in-depth on each of these uh, subjects here all right now let's go so first let's go ahead and touch on the confidentiality agreement all right all right and what that is is a simple statement that the contents of your business plan are confidential and that the reader is bound by signing the confidentiality statement to respect the trade secrets revealed in your plan all right so in other words, whoever reads your business plan, they're bound by an agreement that they won't take anything out of your plan and discuss it with anybody else or use it, you know, for their own gain. All right. Next, let's talk about your executive summary. All right. So in your exec executive summary, um, this is where you want to communicate the basics about your company, you know, your corporate philosophy and your products and your services. All right. Um, next thing, um, it has to be brief enough to be digested in a few moments, all right? It's, it's pretty much your business card. It's pretty much your advertisement, all right? And it's 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 like a first impression. It's just like the moment you, you have when you first meet someone, all right? This is what your executive summary will consist of. Next, let's talk about your record label objectives, all right? So... In your record label objective, you want to answer some of these questions. You know, who is your company? What does your company do? Um, when will your objectives be met? Where are your customers? And why does your record label exist? All right. And another thing, how will you achieve your goals, particularly the short term goals? All right. Next, let's go ahead and touch on the purpose of your business plan. All right. So. Um, you want to discuss the reason for your business behind your business plan and um, I just listed a few examples here um, One is the purpose of this business plan is to assist with the securing of startup funding All right, this can just be one reason. All right. Another reason can be um, Where you can say the purpose of this business plan is to help your partners and investors Understand the mission of the record label. All right. This is what your business plan could be about my next one is the purpose of this business plan is to gather in one place the ideas for the mission of the company all right pretty similar to the last one and then we got this this business plan is being prepared as the first step in the launching of whatever records whatever the name of your record label will be all right so now moving right along all right I'm trying to just do this as fast as possible for you guys I do have a PDF um, that you can download and it will have all of these slides in there all right so let's just move right along to your mission statement 
All right, in your mission statement, you want to describe the reason for starting your company. All right. Next, um, the mission statement is a statement of the goals and mission of the company. All right. Pretty much self-explanatory is the statement. What you want to accomplish? What do you want to, you know, get done? What is your mission? What is your goals? You know, and like I said, preferably your short-term goals. Um, we're going to talk about long-term goals later. All right. The principles and the culture that will be a big part of how your record label functions on a day-to-day -day basis. All right. And just these are the few things that you want to make sure to include inside of your mission statement. All right. Next, let's talk about your products and services. All right. And in this section, you want to provide some detail about your catalog of the products and services that you're going to have. All right. So... For example, you have music products, all right, like you, your downloads, your iTunes, your streaming, your Spotify, all right, that's your products, all right, then you have your promotional products, um, such as CDs or merchandise, t-shirts, posters, cups, you name it, that's merchandise, all right, you want to include that in this section under your products and services, all right, the next thing you can, uh, uh, example here is uh, performance products like uh, for example your live shows your concerts your tours you know your live stream performances etc etc all right and uh, last but not least um, you want to discuss your future products all right um, what do you see your label getting into like concert promotions music video production um, festivals you know your own blogs television movie production all right, you gotta have these goals and these dreams and you gotta set them and, and, and plot it out, all right? And you gotta have all of this information in this section right here as far as your products. Move right along. Let's talk about your marketing plan, all right? In your marketing plan, you wanna identify your target market, all right? So who are the people um, who will be buying your music? What is the market need for your music and your products? What is the genre or the niche your record label will serve, right? Um, are you connecting well to your fan base and can you cater to them and make profits for your record label? All right, so these are all the things um, and the questions you want to ask yourself and answer in this section um, of your business plan, which is under your marketing plan, all right? Also, in your marketing plan, you want to identify who are your competitors and at the same time, what are your advantages, all right? Are your advantages your live shows? Or, or do, you, or do you have an advantage of a new sound? All right. Um, do you have a local or regional fan base? Local and regional fan base? Um, do you have just pure, pure old good music? All right. These are things you got to answer in this section. What gives you the edge? What gives you the advantage? Is it, is it your message? Is it your sound? Um, and those are things you can include in this section. All right. So moving right along all right let's talk about uh your marketing strategy all right so when your marketing strategy you want to go ahead and set marketing goals you want to be specific with those goals all right and one example that i did put here was like getting your music on the charts all right that's like a big goal um i would love that you know what i'm saying so your goal could be something different it could be just getting your music on itunes getting distribution all right, something as simple as that. Next in this section, um, you want to talk about your resources. And if you don't have your uh, any resources, you want to go ahead and build those contacts. All right, like your promoters, your your owners of the local club scene where you can perform, or venues, you know, blog writers. You want to start to build these relationships. All right. Next, you want to talk about your promotion strategy. All right, your social media. You know, you want to do online interviews. There's a lot of online YouTube channels, blogs, you know. You want to hit up a lot of music conferences, um, do live performances, and so on and so on, all right? One thing I have to add here at the end is no spamming, all right? Because there's a lot of, I see this a lot where artists will, will Twitter someone, um, or at someone, or Facebook will try to post on your page. And this, that's real annoying people don't like that people don't listen to your music that way all right so no spamming moving right along let's just talk about the team a little bit i'm not going to get really in depth with this this is just a chart 
on how to structure your, you know, um, structure your team. So, you know, we have the president CEO, which you could be at the top. Um, you probably will be playing all of these roles for right now, but as you grow, you can just start delegating these positions to different people. All right, moving right along. Um, we're going to talk about your financial plan. Now, in the financial plan, you want to in, uh, include your uh, income statement. All right, you can just take a look at that um, on the PDF, what that is here. You want to include your balance sheet. All right, take a look at the PDF um, just to read more up on that. Or you can do some research on that. Cash flow analysis. All right. And you want to also include a break even analysis. All right. In your financial plan. All right. So moving right along. Also in your financial plan, um, you want to add all the things you'll need for startup. So your startup capital. All right. Like salaries, equipment, supplies, production costs, post production costs, marketing, consulting, artwork, your travel and touring costs, your distribution. All right. You want to include all of these costs in this section right here also last but not least you want to add your sales all right inside of your financial plan all right your projected sales and your projected profits all right next um we can just speak about key issues here uh you want to talk about your near-term issues all right you want to identify the key decisions and issues that need immediate or near-term resolution and then you want to state the consequences of decision postponement in other words you want to identify your short-term goals and then identify what will happen if you do not accomplish or if you postpone these goals all right and the same with the long-term goals you want to identify the issues needing long-term resolution and state that the consequences if you postpone that all right now another important thing if you're seeking funding um, with your business plan you want to be specific about any issues that require financial resources all right moving right along now the next section is your appendix this is the last section all right and in the appendix you want to reference supplementary materials and resources all right for example um, your confidentiality statement could be here um, you could have different charts different organizational chart like I showed you um, in previous slides and you can also add like different checklists all right so this is the end um, all right I hope this helped you I went a little bit fast but this is everything that you will need to include into your business plan all right so I hope you guys enjoyed that peace out tune into the next video all right <laughs> peace